Welcome. Carroll College's 2020 conferral ceremonies are now convened. Please bow your heads for the invocation, which will be offered by the Most Reverend Austin Better, Bishop of Helena and Chancellor of Carroll College. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Heavenly Father, you are so good to us, and many times we're just not grateful. But we're grateful today, even during these difficult times. We are grateful for all the gifts you give us, especially the gifts that have come to us through Carroll College and to the graduates you've sent to us. I ask that you give them your every grace and blessing and bless their families. Help them to be courageous and generous as they go forth from here, to be witnesses, asking each day, what more can I do for others? rather than what more can I do for myself. Heavenly Father, bless them and keep them. Make your face shine on them. Be gracious to them and grant them your peace. And may Almighty God bless each of you and your families, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Bishop. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, faculty, staff, and students, I welcome you to Carroll College's 110th conferral celebration. But this is the very first being conducted virtually. While we certainly wish we could be celebrating your graduation in person, we wanted to make certain that in absence of that opportunity, we're able to confer your degrees and officially announce you as being graduated from Carroll College. This virtual ceremony and live stream mass prior are not meant to take the place of your commencement and baccalaureate mass, which has been rescheduled for May 16, 2021. However, we do want this day to be celebratory. So in addition to conferring your degrees, we will be sharing the names of the recipients of our faculty, staff, and student awards. However, we are reserving the formal speeches for our in-person ceremony next May. Upon the conclusion of sharing the names of our graduates at the end of this virtual ceremony, we will have a special tribute to the class of 2020, so please be sure to watch at the end of this ceremony. I will now introduce colleagues and special guests Bishop Austin Vetter, Bishop of the Diocese of Helena and Chancellor of Carroll College, whom you just met a few moments ago. Monsignor Kevin O'Neill, Chairman of the Board of the Carroll College Board of Trustees. Ms. Kathy Day, Vice President for Academic Affairs at Carroll College. Beth Groman, Dean of Students in Retention at Carroll College. And Mr. Dan Bird, Assistant Director of Facilities and Chair of the Staff Advisory Council here at Carroll. Dear class of 2020, congratulations. You did it. You really did. In fact, you did it in the midst of the largest world crisis that our planet has experienced since World War II. Think about it for a minute. When the semester began in mid-January, none of us could have predicted what would have happened by early March. It would have been viewed as a pure science fiction. In fact, I've shared with friends over the past several weeks that I feel like I've been living in a science fiction movie that was poorly written, poorly produced, and I couldn't turn the TV off, even though I have tried to turn the TV off. Despite the challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic, each of you has persisted, and each of you will have a degree conferred as a graduate of Carroll College today. I could not be more proud of you than I am this day. You have proved that you are able to rise above challenges and adversity in a way that only Carroll College students can do. You have done so with pride, commitment, love of your community, and you've demonstrated good cheer. I am also proud of our faculty and staff who have each dedicated their hearts and souls, ensuring that your education was not interrupted over the past two months. 
In fact, we moved 100% of our curriculum to remote delivery without missing a single day. We are one of a handful of colleges in the entire country that has been able to do this. Think about that. That's because of the dedication of your faculty and staff, and they have worked day and night and most weekends. I will end my comments now, as I'll have a much greater opportunity to honor the class of 2020 when you return for your official baccalaureate mass and commencement on May 16th, 2021. This will also mark a one-year class reunion, which should be great fun. If you cannot attend May 16th commencement, we will invite you to any subsequent commencement that we have over the next 10 years. I am committed that you and your family members will have the opportunity to experience a baccalaureate mass and a commencement. I don't care if it's 10 years or even 20 years. I want to see 100% of the class of 2020 walk across the stage here at Carroll College. So let's make it happen. Please know that Victoria and I will be keeping each of you in our daily prayers over this next year. Thank you, class of 2020. You shall always carry a special place in my heart as long as I live. May God bless you and keep you. And as many of you know me, you know that I can't end a speech or any sort of presentation without saying two words. And I want you all to join me and say as loudly and carefully and clearly as you can, on the count of three, we're gonna say, go Saints. One, two, three, go, go Saints. Saints! So I now ask Ms. Kathy Day, Vice President of Academic Affairs, to present our Emeritus Professors and Faculty Awards. Ms. Day. Professor Emeritus is an honorary status conveyed on retired faculty who have served the college long and with distinction. Emeritus or emerita in its Latin root means served well, being worthy of recognition. The title honors professors' contributions in educating generations of students and leaving a legacy of having enriched the college's intellectual, social, and spiritual community. Carroll College is proud to award the title Emeritus and Emerita in this year to two professors in recognition of their legacy at Carroll College. First, we honor Professor of Mathematics and Engineering, Terry Mullen. Terry attended Carroll College in 1980 and returned to teach in 1983. Terry is honored for working tirelessly with his colleagues to successfully launch an ABET accredited civil engineering program. Terry was the department utilitarian who taught a wide range of courses, and Terry was a favorite with students. He had this uncanny ability to take complex concepts and break them into easy to remember bits that students could comprehend. His approach was not fancy. He kept it simple, but his methods were effective and students learned the material he taught them. Next, we honor Professor of Anthrozoology and Psychology, Ann Perkins, who began teaching at Carroll in 1990, when she became the first female member of the psychology faculty. Anne was selected for this honor first and foremost for her leadership and innovation when she transformed her passion for teaching and animals into one of Carol's most successful majors. Today, anthrozoology is one of our fastest growing majors and was the first bachelor degree of its kind in the nation. To our two honorees, thank you very much for your commitment to our students, your colleagues, your profession, and Carroll College. I would now like to present our faculty awards. The recipient of the Outstanding Teaching Award is selected by the Faculty Development Committee on behalf of faculty, staff, and students in, of Carroll College 
In recognition of excellence in the classroom, in student advising, and as a role model and inspiration for Carol's students, I am pleased to announce that this year's recipient is Dr. Annalise Rank. Dr. Rank is praised for going above and beyond as an excellent teacher. Her nominator states, I sincerely believe Professor Rank deserves an outstanding teaching award. In her day-to-day -day classes, she fosters an environment of openness and learning. She further creates a diverse, tolerant, and reverent atmosphere for discussion of serious topics of which students would rarely have experience. Even the past several weeks demonstrate her exemplary teaching as we grappled with COVID-19. She was sensitive to her students' feelings, was open to feedback and suggestions, and quickly did substantial research and reworking to overhaul her classes to deal with an online format, something exceptionally difficult for a class that is largely based on communication and interaction. Professor Rank has proved her enthusiasm, concern for students, and passion for the subject through her great work. I think you would be hard pressed to find a better candidate for this award than Professor Annalise Rank. The Distinguished Scholar Award is presented by Carroll College faculty, staff, and students in recognition of significant faculty scholarship. These activities include research and scholarly publications, professional awards and honors, contributions to one's discipline, and participation at conferences and seminars. It is my pleasure to announce Dr. Grant Hokett as this year's recipient. Dr. Hokett was nominated by his peers for his substantial number of scholarly contributions including mentoring over 50 Carroll students completing honors theses, collaborating with 36 American Indian undergraduates from tribal colleges, establishing a strong working relationship with Montana State University Extension Service and the Montana Department of Health and Human Services, publishing more than 20 peer-reviewed scientific articles, bringing in an excess of $2.5 million to Carroll to fund research projects and leading the completion of the first statewide risk infection model for the West Nile virus. Most importantly, his nominator stated, Dr. Hokett is one of Carroll's most loved instructors because he is student driven. Grant is dedicated to Carroll in all phases of being a faculty member. He is a sought-after teacher, a program innovator, a researcher who aids students in their research, and his own, as well as a strong administrator when called on. To me, he is a treasured colleague, and we are extremely fortunate to have him here. Congratulations, Professors Rankin Hokett, and thank you for your outstanding scholarship and excellence in the classroom. Thank you, Vice President Day. And I now invite Mr. Dan Bird, Assistant Director of Facilities and Chair of the Staff Advisory Council to uh, please come to the podium to present the Excellence in, uh, in Service Award. Thank you. The Excellence in Service Award is selected by the Staff Advisory Committee on behalf of the staff, students, and faculty of Carroll College in recognition of staff members exemplary service in the spirit of moving Carroll College forward in a positive direction and in supporting its mission. This year's recipient is Shannon Ackrett. Shannon has gone the extra mile in all that she has done for the college. In her years at the helm of Carroll College's global learning programs, she has expanded it to include up to 150 options for those students wishing to participate. Shannon lives her love of the program and is well respected by her peers. Shannon is, has an innate way of making people feel welcomed, loved, and included. She strives to better our students, herself, and her colleagues. And throughout her 20 years at Carroll College, Shannon has taken on tasks without hesitation, and her plate overflows with both work and generosity. 
Shannon represents the true spirit of Carroll College's mission. She wants all students to have a full and well-rounded educational experience. And she does this with her global programs and the initiatives she directs, along with her daily interactions on campus with our students, staff, and faculty. We are so thankful to have Shannon as an integral part of our wonderful staff on campus. Thank you, Dan. The class of 2020 has selected Ms. Connor Haig as a student speaker for this year's commencement. Connor will give her commencement address at the full ceremony on May 16, 2021. Now for the two student awards. First, Ms. Day will confer the Bishop Gilmore Award. Vice President Day. The Bishop Gilmore Award for Outstanding Scholarship is inscribed with the names of seniors who have attained the highest grade point average after four years at Carroll College. The award is named in memory of Most Reverend Joseph M. Gilmore, fifth Bishop of Helena. The Bishop Gilmore Trophy this year goes to the following students. Sarah Lou Johnson. Clarissa Rose Noel Moravic. Thank you, Vice President Day. I now invite Ms. Beth Groman, Dean of Students in Retention, to confer the Michael Murphy Award. Beth. I have the very special honor of presenting this year's Michael Murphy Award for Outstanding Collegiate Citizenship. The Michael Murphy Award is presented annually by the college to a graduating senior who through leadership, service, and character best represents the ideals of Carroll Carol College. The 2020 Selection Committee identified two recipients for this year's award. Our first recipient of the Michael Murphy Award took between 16 and 18 hours each semester and was able to finish her program a semester early. She's been involved on campus as a member of the Talking Saints Forensics Team, the Saints for St. Jude, EWB, and the Campus Ministry. During her sophomore year, she was also Halo the mascot for the basketball season. She's been a member of the ASCC and served her peers as student body president during the time intensive program prioritization process, which included countless meetings and very difficult conversations. In addition, she assisted in coordinating President Sex's inauguration. Away from campus, this recipient re served two years as a big sister for the Helena area Big Brothers Big Sisters. She also worked as an intern at the Office of Consumer Protection and Victim Services under the Department of Ch Justice. Please join me in congratulating Ms. Kennedy Baum, co-recipient of the 2020 Michael Murphy Award. Our second recipient of the Michael Murphy Award has been described as caring, committed to serving her peers, passionate about social justice, and impressive in her willingness to stand up for her peers, particularly those who are marginalized. This recipient has served as a teaching assistant where she has men mentored others in meaningful ways, and she has been involved on campus as president of the Psych Club, a member of the GSA and ASCC, and has served her peers as the ASCC student body president. She has done much work to promote sexual assault prevention as well as address accessibility issues on campus. Off campus, she serves as at Choder Children's Hospital and has worked with children at Broadwater Elementary providing individual support. During this spring 2020 semester, she has been a leader through the COVID-19 health crisis, working with the ASCC to develop a program allowing students in need to request funds and resources during this pandemic. I have had the great pleasure of working closely with this recipient during my first year at Carroll College, and she has inspired me through her perseverance and poise. And even when things have been difficult, she continues to have a smile on her face and a willingness to pull up her sleeves and serve this community. Please join me in congratulating Ms. Emma Nyland, co-recipient of the 2020 Michael Murphy Award. Thank you, Beth. <clears throat> and I would just like to say, uh, as president of Carroll College, I have truly enjoyed working with both Kennedy 
and Emma, and both will hold a very special place in my heart as the first two ASCC presidents that I've had the opportunity to work with. So again, congratulations, Kennedy and Emma. I now invite Ms. Uh, Kathy Day, uh, Academic Vice President, to present the candidates for degrees. It is my pleasure, on behalf of the faculty, to present these candidates for Master of Accountancy, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Associate of Arts degrees for the class of 2020. These persons listed forthcoming and on the graduate webpage have to date fulfilled the candidacy requirements of these degrees and have been so certified by the Board of Trustees of Carroll College. By the virtue of the authority vested in Carroll College by the State of Montana, with the approval of the Board of Trustees and in the name of the faculty of Carroll College, I hereby declare that Master, Baccalaureate, and Associate degrees are awarded to the candidates designated and that said persons are entitled to their degrees and to all the rights and privileges pertaining thereunto. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you the Carroll College graduating class of 2020.
It is my sincere pleasure now to invite Monsignor Kevin O'Neill, who is the chairman of the board of trustees of Carroll College, to the podium to offer a benediction. Monsignor. Let us pray. The good Lord said to the apostles gathered around him, where I am going, you also shall be, you know the way. One apostle, sometimes called the doubter, but often known as the questioner, sincerely stated, Lord, we do not know where you are going. We do not know the way. And the Lord's response was gentle and true. I am the way and the truth and the life. And Thomas and believers after him have followed with faith, hope, and love, just as our graduates will, just as those before them have been doing, seeking, following, serving, sharing, loving, blessing, and becoming all the good Lord has asked them to be. God bless you, God keep you, God protect you, and God reward you for your many hours and labors of studies and generosity of mind and heart and soul. And bless your families and those who sustain you as well in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Monsignor, I just want to say thank you for your leadership and everything that you have done for this college. And it has just been such a pleasure and honor to have the opportunity to work with you and to have the opportunity to work with you for another year as you were just elected as chairman of the board for another year at Carroll College. So please join me in giving the Monsignor a round of applause. This 2020 conferral ceremony of Carroll College is now concluded. Go in peace and gratitude and until we can meet again, uh, please enjoy this extraordinary day. And before you sign off, Please enjoy the following tribute and special farewell to our students of the class of 2020. Congratulations! Congratulations. <laughs> Happy graduation, class of 2020, from the halls. Seniors, congratulations, my friends. I think the world of you. I cannot wait to see what you guys do with your future careers. And remember, Carol is always home. I wish you adventure and happiness in this next phase of your life. And I hope that this time next year, we can be back together celebrating in person. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm very excited for you. Congratulations. Congratulations on a job well done. We will sure miss you around here. We have certainly missed your full presence on campus this semester. And we'll also miss sending you off to New Horizons at graduation. I want to congratulate you on four years of really hard and really excellent work. I wish you all the best in the world. I will miss you all very dearly, and I can't wait to hear about all the exciting things that you do with your lives. Congratulations. Congratulations. I am so excited to see all of the great things you will go on to accomplish, and I wish you the best of luck in the next chapter of your lives. Congratulations, seniors. We will miss you dearly. Goodbye. Good luck. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations. Congratulations. We are so proud of you. What a journey it's been so far, right? You've done amazing things, and this is a day to celebrate. Congratulations. <laughs> Very impressed with the hard work the patience and the sacrifices you guys have made in your last semester here at Carroll College. After this, you guys can do anything. It's been a real joy journeying with you these past four or five years. Congratulations and God bless. Congratulations. You've accomplished a lot and I wish you all the very best. You did it. You graduated. You can overcome anything. Thank you for all your contributions while you were a student. Go Saints. 
Welcome to the alumni family. I can't wait to celebrate with you next May. As you're moving into the world, I know that you will make a difference and you will show them what a saint can do. Congratulations, class of 2020. Each and every one of you have risen to the occasion. I just want to say I'm proud of you. And I also want to say thank you, class of 2020. And I look forward to seeing you all very soon. God bless and go Saints.